Oh hi, I was just having a break and looking at some photographs of the family. My youngest girl, my oldest granddaughter there, when she was about six or seven, stayed with us for a few days or an overnight and uh, she disappeared and we couldn't find her anywhere and eventually Rita shouted through to the toilet where she'd been for quite a while, are you alright in there? And the six, seven year old granddaughter replied, oh nanny, I think I'm so complicated. What she meant was that she was constipated. Made me think about words and the way we use language. Let me think about this. What do you think that says? It actually says fish. It's English. If you take the GH and pronounce it as F, as in rough, you take the O and pronounce it as the I in women, and the TI and pronounce it as the SH in nation or ration, and you've got fish. Easy, isn't it, when you know? And what about this one? What do you think that is? A lot of people think it's Spanish. Actually, what it says is, Si, sí, senor, there they go. Forty lores in a row. Demont lores, demont rocks. Full of geese and ends and ducks. Language is a funny thing. And sometimes we think we're speaking English, but we're not. Sometimes we know that we're supposedly reading English and it makes no sense to us at all. And employment legislation can be a little bit like that. It seems to be written in a, in a language that really isn't that accessible. That's why we at the Finch Consultancy Limited exist. We're here to help employers make sense of employment law and help them to put it into practice, to write policies around it so that it's understandable, not just for the employer, but for the employees as well, so that everybody knows what's expected of them and how things operate in the working world as far as employment is concerned. If you're having problems with the language and you need an interpreter, talk to us at the Finch Consultancy.